get the show back on the road here? Yeah, uh, all we've talked about is sticking to what we do well, looking at our strengths. Uh, previous to the tournament starting, we talked about losing games, how would we, we would react and what would we counter that with, and everything goes back to focusing on ourselves and our strengths and how we win games of cricket and how we get the best out of ourselves. Looking at the conditions here, is there a good case of playing out of the seamer and bringing Liam Plunkett back into the team, do you think? Uh, there, there could be. Um, obviously, another day where the wicket is under the, under the covers. Uh, wickets that have been played on here so far have been a bit greener and probably seamer friendly. Um, so that, that's potential, yeah. What about Bangladesh? They've beaten England at the last two World Cups. They've just beaten South Africa. How difficult could this match be, do you think? Oh, it is going to be a difficult game. They're a good side. Uh, I think people underestimate them. Uh, we certainly don't. Uh, they're a side that has played a lot of cricket. Their senior players especially have played a lot of games, even more so than our senior players. So they are a threat, um, but hopefully we can play well and overcome it. And just finally for me, after that defeat by Pakistan, how much pressure are you feeling under coming into this game? No, none. It's a game we lost. We didn't deserve or didn't deserve to win the game. We didn't play well enough. Uh, we played some really good cricket. Two guys scored 100. We nearly chased down 350. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Hi, Owen. Um, the thing is, before this tournament, I was thinking it was a long time before you get to games which seem like they're must win, and maybe that's still the case. But if you stand two wins from three, it's easy to feel confident. And if you're one win from three, it feels like a bit of a problem. Is that true? I think the process still remains the same. We're heavily process driven, uh, focusing on ourselves and what we do. If that happens to be the case where we don't win the next couple of games, we'll still need to win the following game. The, the uh, priority still remains the same. It's on what you can do to win the next game. Our next game tomorrow. It's our focus. In a weird kind of way, is it harder to deal with defeat when you lose so rarely? Uh, no, I think it presents a huge opportunity to, to learn more about your game and to try and improve. I think games where we've been defeated probably heavily in the past, we've probably learned the most because we've still managed to stay in the game. We've remained uh, in a headspace where we believe we can still win the game. Um, and that shows uh, probably a lot more to us and to, to, to our supporters about what they don't see all the time. They see uh, an exciting team the majority of the time. And when we lose, lose games, we want to see character. We want to see the other side of our game. So, yeah. I just wanted to ask about Bangladesh. I mean, we've all observed their kind of general progress. I mean, for years, they were kind of thought of as being underdogs, and maybe that was lazy from our point of view or whatever. Do, do you actually see them as potential winners of this competition? I mean, are they good enough to be world champions? Uh, it's difficult to say, particularly at this early stage. Um, they played well against South Africa. They put uh, New Zealand under pressure. Uh, they're a side with a huge amount of potential. Uh, I think if you look back at probably the earliest recognition that I remember them making a step forward, I think they played Australia here in 2005, um, where they went close or might have even won. Um, so sort of since then, they've been exposed to a lot more cricket and they've be become a better side, um, particularly at home. Uh, 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 um, the last game against Pakistan, two players were fined. Um, wanted to perhaps engage a little bit with the crowd, but a few mutterings about the state of the ball. Do you think you were distracted more so than normal? No. It's uh, the, the ball situation. The umpires constantly monitor the ball. They did for both sides. Um, a couple of guys got fined. That happens. A um, little bit emotionally driven, which is expected in a World Cup. You want to see that in, in, in guys. Um, but I didn't see anything distracting us more so. You've just spoken about, you know, sticking to your strengths and knowing and focusing on your own game. You felt you did that like you always do against yeah, Pakistan. Yeah, probably, you know, we, we lacked a bit in the field. I mentioned it after the game, and that still remains the case. So hopefully we put in a better performance tomorrow with, in the field. Jim at the back, back left as we look. Uh, you already told Bangladesh are threatened for you. Uh, can you specify which area you are feel threat? Um, uh, the strongest areas, they're, they're good with the bat, they're strong with the top, uh, they have good spinners and, and good seamers, so they're, they're a good side. Here. 
Uh, Captain, uh, since last World Cup, we have seen a new England team, especially in limited overs. Do you think uh, after that match in Adelaide, uh, I mean, against Bangladesh in 15 World Cup, I mean, after that match, after that losing, that helped a lot to change the England in limited overs? Um, not particularly that fixture. I probably would have said the... Because you knocked out after that match. Yeah, we got knocked out after that match. <laughs> yeah, we got knocked out after that match. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, can you go back to the question, please? Uh, since last World Cup, we have seen a new England team in limited yes. overs. Do you think after that World Cup, especially in that match, where the, after the losing in Adelaide, yeah, so uh, not, a, not especially that match. I yeah, think big yeah. contributions yeah, to that yeah. were the New Zealand game in uh, Wellington. So I big contributions to us making step forwards and making big decisions. No, in Adelaide against Bangladesh, you're losing. Yes. After losing, I was that, there. That, helped, that helped to change that England team in last four that years? That helped us. Yeah. No. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah. Um, Owen, um, do, have you reached the stage where you look at anybody else's results at the moment? Things like Australia winning their first two, or is it a bit too early still? No, I think it, being a World Cup year and everybody loving cricket, majority of guys will keep an eye on the results regardless. We talk in the change room about certain things that happen, certain trends. That's, that's part of being open to try and learn throughout the tournament. Um, yeah, guys are watching the majority of the games. Yeah. Rory? Oh, and we've seen in the first two games the opposition opening up with, with spin. Bangladesh have the options to do that as well. Do you feel like Johnny and Jason are quite keen to put that one to bed and, and show that there's no particular weakness there? No, I, I think it's just another challenge that the two guys have been presented with. Um, they, I'm sure that they will you know, kick on. It's like anything when the ball swings, it's a new challenge. Guys ball short, it's a new challenge. Mystery spins, a new challenge. Bangladesh will open with spin, definitely. Paul? Um, Owen, after that game in Adelaide, um, did you think your one-day captaincy was over before it really began? Um, I didn't really know, is the honest answer. Um, and probably after the Afghanistan game and that period, probably for the next month or so, yeah, I didn't know. But it was a watershed moment, wasn't it, really, from the journey you've had since? Yeah, I, mean, I wasn't that game in particular. You know, we weren't humiliated. We were beaten again by a better team. They deserve to win that night. Um, the humiliating games were games that happened previous to that. Games we might have been competitive and were blown away. We'll take two more, George, and then we'll finish with yours. Uh, two parts here, that's right. Firstly, uh, the team looked a wee bit anxious, maybe, uh, in that last game. Firstly, is that a fair observation? And secondly, have you done anything different in the last few days to get back towards the environment where, I don't know, it's fearless? Yeah, I wouldn't say we were anxious. I think uh, it's natural to feel different in different games in particular. But I wouldn't say that we were over, like, more anxious than normal. Um, the last couple of days for us has been a case of getting away from the game. Uh, there's been a bit of rain around, so we chose to shoot, train yesterday um, as opposed to having an off. Um, but we feel our, our prep is good. Finally, Will at the front row. When you look outside and see weather like this and forced to train inside, I think the forecast is pretty shoddy for the next week or so. Do you start to worry about the impact it might have on your tournament and whether you might you know, sort of different permutations come into, come into play rather than having nine results, if you like? Yeah, I think the weather will have an impact. Uh, it's something that we spoke about. Having a tournament at home, it will impact it at some stage. Uh, we do want it to turn because it has a big impact on every team. Um, we've seen that two years ago on the Champions Trophy. Australia only played one game, um, which is not what you want in a competition. Um, and it has a big effect on how the wickets will play and be prepared and... On the grounds when an extremely difficult job preparing three wickets as opposed to just one for one game. Um, so I think everybody would like to see it turn.